Hi guys. Uh, remember, uh, we gave you some uh, things to do outside with throwing and catching and kicking and things like this, but we probably want to make sure that we get warmed up a little bit, uh, like we do uh, before each class. And so we had started doing some JJ's and some push-ups and some stretching uh, before we went on our COVID break here. And uh, these are some things that you can get up and get doing. Remember, some of the best ways to beat stress are by exercising, uh, by reading, uh, by talking things out with moms and dads. And these are great opportunities right now that you can do a little bit of exercise. Uh, maybe include your brothers or sisters or your folks that you're staying with, uh, moms and dads, this sort of thing. And uh, here we go. We'll, uh, we'll get going. So the first thing I like to do, which is pretty easy for all of us to do, is we'll get in. And uh, all we're going to do is start off with 20 JJ's. Now, I'll go to about 10. And so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Remember, you want to get good range of motion so you get your body uh, going, get the blood going through all the muscles, things like this. Then from there, we're going to go right down to our push-ups. Remember, we were talking in class about strength. We said that sometimes everybody's not as strong as, you know, everyone out there. So we said that we would do some negative push-ups if we can't do regular push-ups. So just as a reminder, remember the negative push-up. We come here and we get in that nice plank position. And if we can't do it, then we fight it down. I usually like to use the five count. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. We get up however we can if we got to use our knees whatnot, we get back up in there, one, two, three, four, five, and we fight that push-up down. Now, you know, five to eight are probably a pretty good way to go. If uh, you can do the push-ups, well then remember, we're going to get right in here, and we're going to get our 15 in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I think you can get the rest. So, once we go to a couple sets of jumping jacks and push-ups, and you can uh, create the numbers with where your expertise lies, and uh, we'll get warmed up that way. And now we're ready for a little bit of stretching. Go ahead. And so here's the stretches that we've been doing a little bit. We're going to start by going up on our feet. Remember, I like our feet together. We're going to go down, and as we go down, we're going to exhale that air out of our diaphragm, giving us a little better range of motion. Now we like to hold those stretches for anywhere from 8 to a 15 count in our head. If you got your whole family around, you know you can do a little counting, have a little fun with it. You come up, I like to shake them loose. I go back down. Each time I go back down, I should probably be able to get a little bit further down as I go. Okay. So I like those two. Then I'll take and I'll put one foot over the other, one foot over the other, and I go back down. And I'm down there for about 10 seconds again or so. The idea is probably to find a good happy medium where you're stretching, where you're getting benefit out of it, but you're not doing it too long either. So we're down. There you go. Doesn't that feel good? Shake them loose, shake everything loose. Now I like to get that good split. Remember, I talk about my shoulders and my knees, kind of lining them up so I don't have too small of a base, but I don't have too wide of a base either. We kind of want to have that just right. And the first thing I'm going to do is wrap around my legs. And again, I'm doing the uh, 8 to 15 second wait. I like to come up. I don't shake out that time. I'll come over. And a lot of times what I can do right here, guys, is I can actually pull myself a little through that range of motion, which helps it. But you don't want to pull it too far so you hurt yourself. But a little bit extra is always good. And at that point, I'll shake them loose. Now I might repeat each of those things two or three times. Now one of my other favorite to get loose uh, exercises and stretches is the good old groin stretch. Now, I don't like my knee to move too far past my pinky toe, and I like to have a good split here. And I get in here, and I get my back up, 
and I kind of push this hip through and you'll feel it stretch through your groin area and out throughout your legs and loosening them up. Now, I don't even have to move my feet from here. I just rotate over, got the same position. Notice my toes are straight, like if I had a line drawn here. I'm not up on my feet. I'm not up here. I'm not leaning over the stretch, which kind of negates it. I'm in here in a good, nice base, stretching out, okay? I like to go to the middle. I press out, and then I'll loosen up. And a lot of times I'll go through that a couple times, okay? From there, let's uh, go down to the floor, to the mat, to the carpet, to the grass, wherever you're doing it at, and there's lots of different places that you can exercise. So from here, I'm going to sit on my laces, both sides, kind of got a decent little split here, and I'm just going to kind of sit back into it a little bit. Okay, I'll bring it back up after my eight seconds or so. Then I like to grab a hold of my thigh and pull my shoulders through. Sometimes I'll grab the back of my foot and it allows me to pull a little bit too and stretch that lower back out. Which guys my age, being 28, I have to do. And then I'll come back over and I'll stretch. No, I'm really not 28, you all know that. So uh, then sometimes you might be able to go all the way back. I'm not so flexible like I once was and you might be able to get that stretch, but be careful. Make sure you're not hurting yourself as you stretch. Uh, another one that I really like to do is we'll come down here flat on the mat, carpet, whatnot. Got my hands out in front. I'm gonna lock my hip, if you will, right here into the floor. And I walk these hands up, getting those shoulders nice and tall. And then I take my chin and I look over my shoulder and I'm really trying to see this heel right here, if I can, and that flexibility. And I'll do it this way. And then I'll come back up and I'll try to give me a good little push. And that really helps stretch the lower back out as well as the stomach and all of our core muscles. Okay? Coming in. I like to be in here. I'll take my toes. I'll flex them forward. Kind of stretches up my shins. I like this with my runners a lot. And I'll take, I'll grab a hold, and I'll actually pull myself down. Stretching is one of those things I've been kind of not doing as much as I need to on this break. So I've lost some of that flexibility. Use it or lose it. I'm in here. I'm still pointing. And I like to pull myself down. Some people like to come with one. I like to come with both over, I think it just gives you a, a much sounder stretch. And again, we're making sure we do both sides so that we get good stretching. Feeling pretty good. Now, what I would like you to do is, there's probably about 10 more stretches out there. I'm gonna bring some to you the next time we meet again, but I want you to think of a few of the stretches that we've done, and I want you to try to add those in and see what you can come up with. I think if you do these things every day, you're going to feel a lot better about yourself. Hey guys, stay healthy.